So here we are in our cab assembly video times 30. And from this, it generates the activity roll-up shown here. You can see uh, each of the levels here, handling parts. and the handling parts, we get pick parts. And these are the activities under pick parts and transport parts and so forth. And a little bit further down here, you'll see we go to um, handling tools. It's the same idea. You've got the, uh, the pick tools here and you have the transport tools. Now the structure you see here is actually coming from the area down at the bottom of the video time study area here where the activities are listed. Now I say the bottom because you can actually toggle these up and down so I can click on this up and down it will go to the top. So I'm just using the, the bottom right now because normally that's where I keep it but it's up to yourself here. I'm just going to drag this up so we can see a little bit clearer here. So here you see the handling parts, the pick parts and that transport parts. And if we get down a little further we find the handling tools, the pick tools, and just a shade further here, you'll see the transport tools, and so on. So that is what is used, the structure here is what is used to drive the structure of the activity uh, roll-up that you see here. And of course that drives down into the, uh, the chart roll-up. Here you'll see the handling parts and the handling tools. So these are two of the major groupings we have in the total area. And then we dr drill into the handling parts just by tapping on it here. Here's your uh, pick parts, here's your transport parts, and so on. If I go back up here, you can see I have my handling tools. Here's my pick tools and transport tools here. These are the ones we're talking about uh, back over in this area down here. What we can do is show you how to set up this structure here, because there's a number of tools that uh, make it quite easy for you to, to put this together here. So here we have a blank activity screen. There's nothing in here at all. So I'm just going to build up my little structure here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just type it in here. And the first one is going to be our handling parts. And I press enter. And you see what this just adds it down here. And by default, it's putting it in its value added right here. But this doesn't really matter at this point because it's the elements themselves that are going to be value added and non-value added. Our next highest level activity is going to be handling tools. So I'm going to put that in here. And you continue adding your highest level this way if you'd like here. Now what I want to do, you can see here, I can click here. I'm ha currently highlighting handling tools. I'm going to use these little uh, options up here at the top here. So you can see I can have the options add as a child. I can add it above or add it below here. So if I go to handling parts here and I say add as a child here, it will make it move it down one level here. And under here, I'm going to have my pick parts. So you can see it's created a new item here. It puts new item up at the top. I just type in pick parts and I press enter and it inserts it right there. See it, put it right in here. Do the same again. I'm not going to do it as a child here because it's going to be underneath it here. So I'm going to go underneath it. And you see I added a new one here and this is going to be my transport parts. And press enter, it slips it right in here. Do the same down here. This one I'm going to add as a child because under this I'm going to have pick tools and transport tools. So I'm going to add as a child and then here it puts it up here, just type in here pick tools, press enter, adds it down there. Come down here, I'm going to add it down below. So I'm just going to add insert item below. And this is going to be transport tools. Now you can see by default, these are all going in as value added. You can actually change it any way you want. I would just recommend it using leaving it as value added because this level, you're not dealing with elements. So now you're going to put an element in, so you might click on the pick parts. Now, obviously, you could be making a timing here when you're doing this, but you can do the same thing. Select where you want to locate it. I'm going to add this as a child here, and I'm going to say grab screws. And just press enter, it slips it right in there. I'm going to add another one into that as we go forward, and maybe another item here. And this is going to be get, get screwdriver. You may only get a screwdriver once and apply many tools, that type of thing here. You can do this here. Now notice you can also move the, any of these up and down. So you can see I can click the get, the get screwdriver. I can move it up or I can move it back down. I can even move it out a level if I want to do this. So you can do a lot of things here with these controls right here to organize your data so that you can create the uh, roll up that you want to see when you go back here and get the data out into the Excel reports here, handling parts, pick parts different grabs, the transports, and so forth. It can be as complicated as you want really here.